Ooh, it's a little dark. The sun was just out, but now it's gone. So great. I kind of wanted to just check in with you guys because I, I tried making this video probably two weeks ago and I just couldn't. I just kept crying. Um, so I feel like I'm in a better place right now than I was then. But this video obviously is, would, is never going to be easy to make. Um, but yeah, so it's been almost two months since my mom passed away. And I really don't want to get into the details. Like, it's just, I'll, I'll eventually be able to talk about it more. But just right now, I just don't want to. Um even talking about her at all just really triggers me and just kind of sends me into a spiral so um but i i really just wanted to come on here let you guys know that i'm doing okay i going to bed every night is the worst like i stay up so late just because i just constantly think about my mom right before i go to bed and yeah, like, it's just, it's so hard, like, I, I've, my biggest fear used to always be losing my parents, I kind of always would, like, because I'm weird, I'll always think of the worst case scenario, so I can kind of be prepared in case that happens, and so I would sometimes be like, oh my god, what if, you know, what if, and honestly, I could have never prepared for this, like, nothing comes close to, like, what I actually feel now that it has happened. Um, it's just the craziest thing. My mom was my best friend. We have, her townhouse is literally directly next door. And it just sucks. Like, she was my best friend. We talked every day, all day. I didn't even really have other friends because she was my mom, but she also... She, like, literally in between working, because she worked from home a lot, she would come over, hang with me, and then, like, go back. Me and her always were just hanging out, talking. Like, we were the definition of best friends. And it's, so, on top of me losing my mom, I lost my best friend. <laughs> and, fuck, I didn't want to cry. It's the hardest thing in the world, like, I've never really lost anyone that, like, I lost my grandma when I was 12, or not 12, I lost my grandma when I was in 8th grade, and that really sucked, but this just hits on another level, and I think it hurts more because it was so out of nowhere. The weirdest thing too that happened was two days, literally I'll like put the screenshot somewhere, two days before my mom passed away, I woke up and I felt this overwhelming sense of just doom and grief. I, I don't know how to explain it because I've not felt it since and I've never felt it before then. I just felt like, I just kept seeing images of my mom like being dead and it was so weird because at that time she like was perfectly fine like she was doing good um and so I called my dad because like I said I wasn't in Ohio I called my dad and I was like hey like are you are like is my mom okay like is Moot good because I just have this like feeling that's like I just have this really 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 bad feeling and my dad laughed on the phone because he was like no like like I don't know what you're talking about. Like, she's fine. Um, I'm taking, like, we're fine. So, but I just remember, like, I felt this gut feeling like something was wrong. And so, after that phone call, I actually texted with her for a little bit. I'll put the text, like, right here. Telling her I love her so much and I can't wait to, like, hug her and blah, blah, blah. It's been so hard. Like, it's, I feel like something they don't talk about when people talk about losing someone is that, the day-to-day -day tasks that you still have to do, like I still have to be an adult. I still have to, you know, I can't just cry in bed all day. Like you have to keep going. That 
It's so fucking hard. Like, it's so hard. I am hanging in there and I'm just trying to keep it, keep it moving. Um, I wanted to post this to like let you guys know that I'm like doing okay. I'm like doing the most least amount of okay you can be with without with I'm doing the least amount of okay you can be doing. Um but yeah, and I appreciate everyone who's reached out and like checked on me and all that. It just sucks so much. Like I miss her so much. I have some brands that I signed contracts with before all this happened, so I have to post this um, so I can get to those videos. Which they've been so patient because like I said, it's been like almost two months and I've gotten stuff from them like well over two months ago. So I, you know, need to get a move on with it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, I I really don't know. I I really don't even know. So thank you guys for all the love and support you continuously show me. Um it means the world. And yeah, I guess I will talk to you in the next one. My camera's gonna cut me off. So I love you and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.